and um, the receiver dryer uh, also ACM made in Germany this is the one that you don't want to expose to air uh, and you'll find it uh, in the right or driver's side of the car front uh, this is the refrigerant pressure sensor uh, this clip uh, has to be pressed in order for it to uh, come out and then the refrigerant temperature sensor there's a small tab that has to be uh, pressed to free the sensor and to remove it. Uh, both sensors are very easy to remove. And you want to push them to the side. Uh, again, 10 Newton meters or 7.38 uh, foot pounds to torque them. Although I'm not, uh, I'm not showing here. Uh, there are two gaskets. You would have to get to them. You can get to them from the top too, but maybe from the bottom of the car. It was kind of hard to uh, to record that, and so I didn't. But just assume that I've replaced the gaskets, and of course uh, something else I didn't mention. Uh, so uh, use a pry bar if, if you know after twenty three years, depending on the. You know, when it was done on your car last, um, you may have to use a pry bar to um, press it up or uh, with the first line. The second one, as you press it up, uh, uh, the, the, you'll notice that the receiver driver will just fall down. And it will fall on the lower um, engine compartment paneling. Uh, which you would have to you would have to jack up the car or drive over the ramps. There are six or seven bolts. Um, uh, you just need to remove the covering, the paneling for the left side or the driver's side in a lift um, steering wheel car. Uh, in order to capture the old receiver dryer and to feed in and turn the new one. As you'll see shortly, uh, you'll need someone to assist you with that. Uh, so this is the the old one. Place it next to the new one to get a feeling for the orientation of the two as well as which line goes where. As you can see, the one on the top is kind of rounded uh, imprint uh, inside the dirt. Uh, and then the bottom one has got a, a straight edge on the left in this case. so, And then you want to have your assistant turn it until you get to the correct ports and once it's in place you want to use uh, some pliers to remove the two yellow caps or whatever color the caps of your receiver dryers come with uh, so minimum exposure to air uh, the receiver dryer serves as a sort of temporary storage um, container for the refrigerant as well as a filter 
that removes debris and moisture from the system. It's uh, it's like a it's a chambered canister that's filled with um, desiccant, uh, which is like uh, this moisture absorbing material. And the uh, receiver's function is to store refrigerant for the system during uh, you know times when um, times of uh, low cooling demand and also to filter out moisture and particles that can be harmful to the system. Um, some of the sy symptoms of a bad receiver dryer or um, unusual or unusual noises, you know, kind of rattling noises, uh, leakage, uh, uh, bad or uh, moldy uh, odors. Uh, ineffective cooling, but you also want to re replace the receiver dryer whenever you open up the AC system for any reason. If you replace any other component, you have to replace the receiver dryer because um, I mean that's that's uh, that's that's a must. If you don't, then you'll have to redo the whole thing at some other time soon. Uh, and um, you'll need about 10 cubic centimeters of fresh pack 46 oil. Uh, you need to add that to the system every time you replace the receiver driver. Uh, according to the Mercedes-Benz workshop manual um, for the W220. Uh, you can purchase 8 ounces of pack 46 for, I think I got it at Advance Auto in the U.S. for $12. Um, I don't know if anyone... Um, sells them in smaller quantities uh, if if you do please if you know of any sellers let us know in the comments so others could benefit from it it's a bad proposition to buy eight ounces when all you need is uh <laughs> oh, what point uh, you know a third of an ounce uh for 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 the receiver dryer if you're replacing the compressor then uh, yeah you could use uh most of the 8 ounces or 8, eight ounce uh, container. Uh, if you have any old pack 46 oil, discard it. Uh, do not use it unless it's uh, in an airtight container because pack 46 oil is uh, hygroscopic and uh, it absorbs uh, moisture from the air. And uh, as you know, moisture is the um, enemy of the AC system.